Today, I was the most scared I've ever been in a while. I received a creepy email today from a customer for my business. It went a little something like this. Hi, I ordered a phone case from you a few days ago, but I'm now outside your house ready to pick it up. At this point, I thought it was a joke, so I look out my window and I see nobody there. But lo and behold, I then get another email saying, why did you look out your window? I'm right here next to you. Once again, I think this just must be a coincidence. They have to be joking. So I then start Snapchatting my friends, super confused. I then got a Snapchat from one of my friends saying, why is there someone behind you? Part two to when a customer stalked and found my address. After I received a Snapchat from one of my friends saying that it looks like there's someone behind me, I freak out and I look behind me and I see a small shadow run in the distance. About five minutes later, I receive an email from the same customer that is stalking me saying, I see you have found me. This is not the end, I will be back. This email freaked me out, so we locked the doors and went to bed. The next night, we were just sitting and making some phone cases until I get another email from the customer saying I'm back. I then heard a hard knock on the door. Story time about how my boyfriend tried to cheat on me with my fake Instagram account, not knowing it was really me. Disclaimer is not my story time with sending me on Instagram. The funny thing is that when my boyfriend and I got together, I did not want the relationship. He begged me for six months to be his girlfriend. And you see, the only reason why I didn't want to was because I knew that he was a player. Every single one of my friends had basically gone out with him. I was just the last girl in the group to go out with him because I always kept saying no. And looking back, he was definitely obsessed with me because I never gave in to him. I was the girl that he couldn't have. During those six months, he would hit me up on Instagram every single day. Anytime I posted a story, he would automatically reply to it he would like and comment on all of my pictures we also had a lot of mutual friends so we would end up at the same events and parties and every time that he would see me in public he would zero in on me he would basically ignore all the other girls at the party and make me feel like i was the only one there and he would constantly compliment me and tell me how beautiful i was how attracted to me he was how i was just so different from all the other girls that he had gone out with trust me i knew that he was love bombing me but eventually after six months i was like he's got to be honest so i decided to give him a chance and let me tell you he has been the perfect boyfriend he's so sweet and considerate my parents absolutely adore him and my mom never likes anybody see i come from a latino family one day I decided to make a second Instagram account. It was just an inspiration account. I posted cute outfits of other people I liked, makeup, nails. So one day I see my boyfriend in my DMs. Part two is part two of how my boyfriend tried to cheat on me with my fake Instagram and not knowing it was actually me. Disclaimers didn't know my story time was sending me on Instagram. That's when I opened up my account to see that my boyfriend had DM me. First I thought he was joking. When I clicked into the message and I read it, my heart and my stomach sank. He was taking a shot. He thought that I was some sort of influencer. Now when I created the second account, I was already with him. But I really didn't tell him that I was creating it. It was just for fun for myself. I did start gaining followers. I did put in a lot of work into this account but it was pretty much a visual diary just for me it just so happens that other girls like the aesthetic and i started gaining a lot of followers i had about 10,000. but here's my theory since my account is probably listed to be in the area that he is probably popped up on one of his mutual lists or his explore page or something like that because i was trying to figure out how he found the account the message read hey beautiful i really love your pictures and love your style i'm also really into fashion lol no he's not and i would love to take you out on a date i know all the good spots around the city let me know if you're down so when i clicked on my boyfriend's profile and realized that he had hidden all of the pictures we had together so if he had DM'd any girl and she went to look at his profile, she would automatically assume that he's single because he doesn't have a picture of another girl. Instead of freaking out and calling him, I decided to keep cool. Instead, I called my mom. She told me to play along with the conversation. So that's what I did. Messaged him back and said, wow, I really love your pictures and your style too. What's your favorite designer? He replied, Louis Vuitton. Ew. By the end of the conversation, we had a date for that night. And I showed up. Part three is up. Story time about how my boyfriend tried to cheat on me with my fake Instagram account not knowing it was me. This is now my story time I sent him on Instagram. At the end of the conversation he thought he was having with some other girl, we had decided to go on a date. And like I said, I was playing along so I was super nice to him. I complimented all the clothes that he wore. I told him that he looked so attractive in his pictures and that I was really looking forward to meeting him. He chose a restaurant downtown and of course he did because I live nowhere near that area. In fact, he and I never go out on dates there. So he knew that he wouldn't see anybody he knew. Here's where it gets actually really funny. This man sent a picture of the outfit he wanted to wear. A brown fedora with a Louis Vuitton monogram on it, a Louis Vuitton belt, black pants and a black shirt. So I replied saying that's perfect. I'll wear a black dress and my favorite Louis Vuitton purse. But I was still heartbroken. So here's what I did. I asked my mom to come with me to the restaurant. So her and I did our makeup, our hair, and we got dressed up really, really nice. And I decided to wear a black dress. My mom actually happened to have an old Louis Vuitton purse in her closet that she never wore. So I grabbed it. My mom and I show up to the restaurant and my boyfriend is already there. So I decided to walk in and turn around. So that way he could only see my back. My mom decided to stay outside of the restaurant. But she knew to come in as soon as he saw me. I suddenly feel a tap on my shoulder and that's when I turn around. He says, oh, hey, babe, what are you doing here? The look on this man's face was of pure fear. That's when I hand up my phone so that he could see that the account that he was messaging was actually mine. That's when he says, you lied to me? He was mad at me for pretending to be somebody else. Then he started apologizing. And then he said that he knew the whole time and that he was just joking around. I broke up with him and haven't spoken to him since.